With the recent announcement of Sony Santa Monica's Opus God of War 2018 coming to PC in January, we here at 5.9 Gaming started discussing the games that we would like to see make their way from the PlayStation family of consoles to our beefy gaming battle stations. After all, some of us have GPUs that cost more than the Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5, and we would love to play our favorites in 1440p at 165 FPS or more. We've got grand adventures, Lovecraftian horrors, beautiful racers, and post-apocalyptic dramas, a list as diverse as the members of 5'9 itself. I'm Christian, aka The Platinum Chin, and I'm here to walk you through the top games that we want to see most move from PlayStation to PC. The Sly Collection Sly Cooper Remastered Originally on PlayStation 3 and PS Vita, the Sly Collection was a remastered version of the original three Sly Cooper games released by Sucker Punch. Featuring nice touch-ups that every fan of the series can appreciate, we'd love to be able to see these three games completely remastered again for modern PC gaming. Considering that Nintendo remastered The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker so well a few years back, we think that the cel-shaded art style of the Sly series would translate well to the modern day. The stealth platforming action of the first three titles is still something we remember fondly, even if it had aged a bit since the series debuted on the PS2. And the cast of characters that allow for different ways for the player to take on the content in each game, starting with Sly 2, Band of Thieves, makes for varied and challenging gameplay throughout the entries in the series. Sucker Punch has long been a studio that PlayStation has utilized to make a number of exclusive games, and this won't be the last you'll hear of them on this list. Gran Turismo. One of the greatest racing game series is just asking to be put on the PC. PlayStation's premier racing simulator has long been a staple for racing game fans, and not much pushes the boundaries for realistic gaming quite like Gran Turismo. With the series spanning 14 games, Gran Turismo is all about going fast, racing the line, and coming in first in races featuring some of the top raceways from around the world. Including some of the best attention to detail from any series in history, you're also able to customize your car's performance and looks in a variety of different ways. And considering that Gran Turismo Sport featured the first VR gameplay in the series, it's clear that the series is ready to utilize the most powerful hardware available to PCs. We really want to be able to play 4K 60fps VR ray traced courses where we can really feel the motion of the cars and see the reflections off the rain on the road. Gran Turismo has been a great franchise for when you just want to chill and drive around beautiful vistas from across the globe, and we hope this makes it to PC sooner rather than later. Another series by Sucker Punch that we would love to see updated and released on PC is Infamous. Infamous is where you take control of conduits, characters who can control various elemental and environmental abilities to traverse the open worlds the games are set in. Infamous had a lot of cool abilities that helped you traverse the open worlds the game supported. My favorite character will always be Cole, as I loved his electric powers, but Delson and Abigail's neon powers were also great. Using the powers to incapacitate enemies, ride power lines, or scale the face of a building. I mean, along with the absolutely awesome set of powers that the characters had, there was also the karma system that let the players decide if they would use their powers for good or evil throughout their adventure. It'd also be neat to see the open worlds of the infamous games, which were cutting edge for their time, remastered and brought into the modern day. The areas in the games, especially in Second Sun, being remastered and having that sweet, sweet ray tracing added would be a sight to see. Not to mention how the ray tracing effect might make the shadows dance around your enemies when you're using smoke or electric powers. Infamous is full of crazy powers and gorgeous visuals, and we need that more than ever to come to PC. Ratchet and Clank. It's one of those series that PlayStation fans have grown up with, and while the series had a soft reboot in 2015, the series is still sticking with what works. Memorable characters, solid platforming, and oodles of weird and wild guns have made the series a staple in the PlayStation catalog forever, but it doesn't get any better than the last two releases in the franchise. With Ratchet & Clank 2016, the franchise took a more family-friendly tone, ditching the sophomore humor that the franchise was known for, but that only made the games appeal to a wider audience. Nowadays, parents who played the original Ratchet & Clank back in 2002 can share a more PG version of the game that they grew up with with their kids, and that's really awesome. More importantly, we want to see if the amazing ray tracing and particle effects of from the most recent entry, Rift Apart, look even better when played on our PC goodness. With weapons like the Glove of Doom, Pixelizer, Warmonger, and of course, the Rhino, and see if they're able to melt our PCs. With Insomniac at the helm, 
we are sure that any port would be handled masterfully, and we know that it would be a sight to see and behold. Another sucker punch game for the list is Ghost of Tsushima. An open world samurai action RPG, Ghost of Tsushima is one of the most single, beautiful games that has ever been made. Taking place on Tsushima Island in feudal Japan during the first Mongol invasion, this game follows the path of Jin Sakai, a samurai trained in honorable combat. Jin must push the limits of his samurai code in order to save his home and his people. Considering how well made this game is, having the option to push PC hardware might actually melt your eyeballs. From the lush bamboo forests to the breathtaking coastlines, Ghost of Tsushima has a view for everyone to enjoy, not to mention one of the best photo modes of any game ever made. Partner that with a great story and smooth combat that lets you flow through your enemy's defense like water, you have one of the single best action RPG games. Even better is the game includes a multiplayer mode that lets you grind out gear for four different classes of samurai and includes its own raids so that you have a number of hours to play and grind out with friends. Ghost of Tsushima is really the complete package, one where Sony and Sucker Punch really delivered a phenomenal first entry to a new IP, one that we hope to see on PC very soon. Spider-Man PS4, Miles Morales. What is there else to say? If you're looking for the ultimate Spider-Man experience, this is it. With web slinging that's closer to perfect than anything we've ever seen, except maybe Spider-Man 2 on the PS2, and fluid combat let lets you basically dance all over your adversaries, Spider-Man PS4 is Insomniac's answer to the MCU. Following the story of an older, more experienced Peter Parker, Spider-Man PS4 is Marvel's version of the Arkham games. The game's systems are very similar, but Insomniac went to great lengths to make sure that Spider-Man felt like Spider-Man and not a Batman clone. Spidey's kicks, punches, and throws are all straight out of the comic books we've all loved forever, and we get a great rogues gallery that also features a very personal story for all the characters involved. Surprising that the open world the game is set in is a fantastic and beautifully realized version of New York City. And once we're done finishing the first PS4 Spider-Man game, we would love to get a run through through the Smash follow-up Miles Morales as well. Miles Morales, being a PS5 launch title, was built with ray tracing in mind and still has some of the most gorgeous visuals on the console to date. Real-time reflections as you run, swing, climb throughout the city as Miles are stunning. And while Miles does have powers very similar to Peter, his electricity-based Venom powers assure that you are able to get a distinct and memorable experience as the young webhead. These games would be a joy to play through again, especially on a beefy PC setup. Featuring some of the most challenging combat of the PlayStation 4 era, Bloodborne is a horror action RPG. Set in the world of Yharnam, Bloodborne is filled with twisted statues, cracked cobblestone streets, gothic castles, and Lovecraftian horrors that look to take your life at every corner. One of the most popular requests from the PlayStation and PC communities, Bloodborne is a test of wills that will challenge you and give you a show at the same time. Renowned for its world design, we would love to see some unlocked frame rates and full 4K support so that we can take in all of the gorgeous and terrible sights that the game has to offer. On top of that, the demonic entities that fill Yarna being able to terrify us in 4K would be something that we would kill to have on our PCs. Final Fantasy VII Remake. Of all the games on this list, this is probably the most intriguing. Final Fantasy VII Remake, being a full reimagining of the first part of the legendary Final Fantasy VII, features a completely rebuilt game. No longer supporting the turn-based style of the original, the game is now faster and more agile, with combat encounters feeling more like Final Fantasy XV. There's also the complete redesign of the Midgard location, bringing the grand scale of the adventure into the 21st century. Character models also being completely redone and working in real time during battle, you get to see every detail that we had to imagine back in the PlayStation 1 days. More importantly, we get to really feel like we are in Midgard, with the location having much more expanded settings that allow us to explore places we saw 20 plus years ago like they are brand new. We'd love to see this one completely done up for PCs, including ray tracing if it's possible, so that we can enjoy the adventure of Cloud and company in all of its glorious splendor. The Last of Us 1 and 2. We all know how Naughty Dog really pushes the boundaries with the Uncharted series, 
but they absolutely broke the mold with The Last of Us. Featuring a story and direction that pushed storytelling in gaming to new heights, The Last of Us is one of the finest games ever made. The story of Joel and Ellie is one that almost every PlayStation owner has experienced and has burned into their mind as the one that shows how two people can help each other survive and grow in a post-apocalyptic world. And while it may be somewhat controversial, The Last of Us 2 pushes the storytelling bar even further by shattering expectations instead of subverting them. After a life-altering altercation, Ellie loses Joel and sets out to get revenge on the people who murdered him in front of her. What she finds is that every story has two sides and that maybe there are more important things than holding a grudge. Both games feature incredibly solid gameplay that mixes stealth, melee, and gunplay combat and world design that is among the best ever made in the post-apocalyptic genre. The character design, especially of The Last of Us 2, is quite possibly the most impressive we have ever seen with the facial features of every character telling its own story within the story, and the enemy design being absolutely phenomenal, especially the Rat King in all its gross out glory. This franchise might have the most awards for the fewest number of games out of any series in history, and frankly, it's well deserved. I'm pretty sure most of us would kiss a clicker if it meant that we could play this series on our PCs. Which game on the list are you most excited for? Are there any that you think we missed? You know what to do. Let us know down in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for more lists, news, and reviews from us here at 5.9 Gaming Direct. And ding the bell so that you're one of the first to know when we put out a new video. I'm Christian, AKA the Platinum Chin, and I wanna thank you for watching and I will catch you guys next time.